and I can just grab this new tool. Now, just give me a second here as I set this up. So what I'm doing is I'm creating now, we call them bones, but think of it as a, as a skeleton. Now I'm creating a lot of them, and you'll see in a minute why. I could create just one big one, but then it's not as compelling. And let's get the blast. All right. So now, what I'm just going to do is just grab my my arrow tool. Now, sweet. So, yes. This is not necessarily. We're not changing the existing shape tweening, but you notice we're just giving you now another tool that you can use for very complex shape manipulation. So this is really using a technology, like I said, inverse kinematics to the, the form the shapes because it's really like putting a skeleton into a shape. Can you animate that? Huh? Can you animate that? Can you animate it? <laughs> Gee, Mike. That's a little slow pitch. I, I, I wonder how this would work here. They're needy. <laughs> so, once again, following this whole idea of simplicity um, for animation, um, let's see if we can do how easy could it be. So, let me just straighten it out. I'm just going to grab the spam, all right? We just created it. This was automatically created. I'm just going to extend it. Let's move to the middle. And then over here, let's go over here. So, yes. That's a long way for me to say yes. Yes, you can animate it. Very cool. Uh, do we have another question ready?